Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys. Whatever time y'all are tuning in, I certainly appreciate y'all are here. Welcome to part two, guys, of uh, restoring the Schrade Walden 15OT old timer. They call it the Deer Slayer. Uh, this was one of the first ones, guys. Uh, it started in 1964. That knife was started pro being produced in 1964 at Schrade Walden, and that ran all the way to 1973. And then Schrade. From 1974 all the way to 1997 that's 24 years of that so that the last one that was ever made was 1997 but this guy's has patent pending so this was the first year 1964 so this is an awesome knife of uh one of my good friends uh it's my cousin's husband and uh it, it come out really good and the sheath i took the clamps off y yesterday and i'll show you that uh, sheath we're, we're going to be putting oil on it we're also going to be opening up all the stuff that josh and tanner sent josh is army uh, active military i just want to thank josh again and tanner for sending that stuff we're fixing to op open that up and look at it but i just want to thank y'all for all the comments and replies that was on that yesterday's video thanking him for his service i appreciate that y'all and uh, again, y'all continue to comment there. Uh, that was that video yesterday, part one. Uh, if you comment on that, I'm going to be picking two random comments. One person's going to win a 722 Spitfire. The other one's going to win a 726 Mini Spitfire. Monday night, 6.30 p.m., we're going live on YouTube. And uh, I've got some more stuff to give away, but you got to be present to win. And I'll go over all the rules on that that night so uh it's gonna be fun it really is again it might take all night to give it away but we're gonna do it uh it's gonna be fun so i can't wait to answer questions that y'all might have or just talk with y'all about knives so it's gonna be fun i'm gonna have me a cup of coffee and we're just gonna have a good time just talking about knives and and, and sharing uh memories uh of what knives bring to us zippos i can't wait anyway guys thank y'all for tuning in today and I hope y'all enjoy the video. First of all, guys, I want to show you the knife that I just bought from Deep South Cutlery this past Thursday night at the auction. Again, Deep South Cutlery has um, auctions on Facebook every Thursday night starting at 6 p.m. Central Time. They're out of Wiggins, Mississippi. Um, they start at 6 p.m., but the first knife goes on the auction block at 6.30 p.m. Central Time. And, uh, but they just do a great job. Great prices on knives, too. This knife right here on case is $189. And this is what I paid for right there, $154. That's why this knife here, guys, is called the High Banks. I like this knife because I'll just show you why. It's got canvas micarta handles, green. It's my favorite color. But I just like that see-through nail pull. It's not a lock blade. It's got aluminum frame. Uh, it's sharp now. It's a, just a pretty knife. And uh, it's got a half stop, see? But it's so, it just looks good to me. And uh, you got it's got that CPM 20 CV steel. And got that half stop. See, it's got a lanyard hole. That's what I love about it, too. I'm going to be putting me a lanyard in here today. Ain't that cool? Just a beautiful knife. Awesome knife. But I only pay $154. Again, they're regular $189 on case. But I just want to share that with y'all again. Deep South Cutler and Outdoors has an auction every Thursday night. 6 p.m. Central Time. They have all beautiful, just the most unique and beautiful case knives over there. They also have old knives, too, that's in near mint or mint condition that they sell, too. It's just a great place to look at knives and just have a good time. Great knives and good times is what they say, and you you have that. You really do. Anyway, let's get to this. I, I don't have everything up here. We're going to uh, open this up from Mr. Tanner first. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> oh, it says, uh, Dear Mr. Kevin, 
You have inspired me to look for knives, especially pocket knives. We are sending you some to, something to remember the Army. <laughs> we watch your videos a lot. We love your work. I drew my pocket knife, a Victoria Knox Swiss Army knife. That's so cool, Tanner. Check out our channel, Ruben Knox Creek Outdoors. That's pretty cool. I didn't know y'all had a... a uh, YouTube channel, if that's what you're referring to. Knife sharpener. And then you got his knife he drew. Ain't that awesome? Tanner, I appreciate that, buddy. And I love Victoria Knox, too. I really do. But, Tanner, I appreciate this, buddy. And I appreciate you taking the time out just to draw me a knife. That is, that's a good knife. Good looking knife. It sure is. Good looking knife sharpener, buddy. Thank you so much, man. And this is from Justin. I don't know what's in here. Here we go. Here we go. Dear Mr. Kevin, the Knife Doctor, I would like to start off by letting you know how much me and my son enjoy the channel. And it's gotten me in trouble a few times with, with the wife. In regard to my eBay shopping, pawn shops, and antique thrift store adventures, laugh out loud. Oh, I cannot forget the gun and knife shows, too. Your videos have also fired up my son Tanner, age 10, and wanted to look and fix knives himself. I have looked him up with, I have hooked him up with a few knives already. His uncle and grandparents have hooked him up, too. Spoiled rotten. We get up every morning. Looking forward to your next videos, buddy. I thank you so much. We are starting our new YouTube channel. Pronounce Rubido, Rubido Creek Outdoors. Well, there it is, y'all. It will be up and running soon. Areas of interest will be anything outdoors related, including making, hunting for, and repairing knives. And whatever we decide to come up with. Once it's up and going, I will post a comment in one of your videos. Well, that's appreciate that, buddy. Oh, uh, send me an email too. Let, let me know. Sometimes I don't get to every comment, man. Um, I also like to thank you for your service. Well, Josh, thank you, buddy. Thank you for yours. I appreciate this. I too have come from a long line of service men and women, currently serving 21 plus years, man. That's awesome, man. Of active service with the Army, with over eight combat and non-combat deployments, totaling over six years being away from loved ones. I know that what it feels to be part from family. I really appreciate all the men and women that have served before me. I truly do. I included many knives and parts of knives within the package. Thankfully, you can utilize them. Or parts or something. An old saying goes, one man's junk is another man's treasure. Amen, buddy. But like I stated earlier, maybe you can use something I've provided. There are a few knives I think are hammer or, or colonial, but the stamping is damaged, and you can see it's high carbon steel based off the gray color in the knife blade and patterns. There's one Pakistan knife that is actual collector's item. They make some they make some good knives, but it must come from a certain company and region. When it comes to the items included that revolve around the two ships you served on, you are very welcome, and it was an honor to give them to you. Hopefully, they will bring back some positive and influ influential memories. Ooh, boy, Josh, you touching me, man. Lastly, sorry for being long-winded. But hopefully our channels can collaborate in the future. Keep up the good work and may God bless you and your family in this country that is so deeply in need of change for the better. My fellow countrymen and women, pray for the country and get out and vote. Thank you for this letter and the letter from Tanner. Awesome, buddy. And I just appreciate all this stuff. You just don't know, man. Hmm. Awesome, buddy. Thank you so much, buddy. But here are the um, sheaths right here. Check that out, y'all. Ain't that awesome of him? 
Very cool, buddy. Thank you so much for these. They're going in my sheath drawer right now. <laughs> mm -hmm. Let's see what this is. Oh, man, look here. That is so cool, man. That is awesome. I'll put that up on their wall of fame, man. Thank you so much for this. I love that right there. Wow. Check this out, y'all. Oh, my goodness. USS Whitby Island. Ain't this awesome, y'all? It's so beautiful, Josh. So beautiful. Thank you so much, man. This means a lot. Hmm. I love that, Josh. Thank you so much, buddy. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Check that out. Oh, man, look at that. Wow. Mmm, <laughs> man. I love that, Josh. Wow. Check this out, y'all. Two ships. I spent six months each on each one. Six months each. Man. Thank you, Josh. Uh-oh. <laughs> Look at that, y'all. That is beautiful, Josh. Oh, my God, man. Look at that. Service to a great nation. That is awesome, Josh. Look how beautiful that is, y'all. Veteran. United States Marine Corps veteran. Josh, I love this, man. Dude. Just can't get over all this nice stuff, man. Ain't that beautiful, y'all? Mm, mm, mm. Oh my goodness. Look at this, y'all. <laughs> man, this is awesome, Josh. They just keep getting better and better, man. Wow. How about that? When we was off the coast of Liberia for over 120 days at sea, we did not go to land. We waited to evacuate the embassy in Liberia, the American embassy. We we could see the land. It was torture. <laughs> we could see the land, but we was on this ship for over 120 days. Same, doing the same thing, same people, no land, but we were sitting right off the coast. We used to go have to go out there and run PT on that flight deck. We did that almost every day running PT on that flight deck. We did. It was, uh, it was pretty cool. And I ate steak and lobster and drank about six beers on that flight deck. <laughs> Cause after, I think after uh, 90 days, they uh, brung us in uh, steak and lobster and two beers each. And we just traded a lot of stuff for beers. And uh, we had a great time that day, it really was. Awesome, Josh. Thank you, buddy, for, for for all this stuff, man. That's so cool, buddy. Thank you so much. I love this right here. That's going to go right behind me on my, my metal cabinet. Awesome, buddy. I love that right there. Whoa. There shall be no evil befall thee ain't that awesome neither shall any plague come night thy dwelling for he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep in all thy ways psalms 91 verse 10 and 11 josh i love this right here buddy love it man love it just share a little story um, they want to know what I wanted in my dog tags. You know, everybody, every serviceman has a dog tag. They want to know what my, if I'm a Baptist, Catholic, Methodist. And I said, I'm none. I'm a Christian. And I meant that. 
I don't separate myself with any certain religion. You know what I'm saying? I'm just a Christian. I believe in Jesus. And I believe that there is a God. I believe God is the Father. So uh, that's what I believe. Thank you, Josh. Thank you for that. And that's what I got on my dog tag. Christian. Old Smoky Folding Hunter. How about that? Dude, this is a very Smoky Mountain Knife work. Check that out, y'all. Buck. Oh, my God. Are you kidding me, Josh? Oh, my God. Old Smoky. Okay, this is the one you was talking about from... Pakistan, but that is a beautiful knife. Lobby dog. Did Buck put it out or something? I don't know. But that is a beautiful, beautiful, best looking knife I've ever seen from, from Pakistan. It looks about like a buck, don't it? I have to look these up, man. I have no idea. But that's, that's bone, I know, made to look like stag. That's very nice of you, Josh. Very nice of you, buddy. It's got to be from the 80s, I'm thinking. Oh, my God, Josh. Goodness. Hubert Spencer. Never seen that before. Sheffield, England. That's a Boca tree brand. I already know what that is. From Germany. Anytime you got a little circle right there, this is that handles bone too. It's got a broken blade on this side. That's a good knife, man. I'm going to say this is a Cutmaster. No? What is it? Camco. Camco was made by Camillus. This little bad boy out right here. Check that out. Sheffield, England. How about that? I love that right there. Stainless steel. Ain't that awesome, guys? Check this one out. Pretty right there now. A nice little knife here. Germany, look at that, made in Germany. Check out that, y'all. <laughs> oh my God. Colonial. Craftsman, check that out. I need some TLC, Camillus, long line, 1960s and 70s, Camillus, another long line, Josh, thank you for all these part knives, man, last one, it says open with care, the USS Saipan, Omnia Facimus, means we do it all. It was commissioned in October 15, 1977, decommissioned in April 20, 2007. 30 years of service. I'm not even going to open it up, man. Not right now. Josh and Tanner sent all those knives and gifts from Fort Leonard Wood, Missouri. 
718 miles away from Ellaville, Georgia. Appreciate it, Josh and Tanner. Thank you for all these nice gifts, man. Appreciate it, buddy. I appreciate you supporting the channel. God bless y'all. Okay guys, here is the sheath. Remember I had to glue that insert in there and it worked. The glue is holding really good and goes all the way down in there, perfect. Isn't that cool? Fix and take the wire brush and clean that up real quick. Okay, I just went over and just hit that with a wire brush and that too. But you can see guys, it, it turned out really good. Um, you can see the insert is staying, it's good and solid, so we just slide it down in there. I think they're going to be pleased with that. Don't they look good? Hoorah! But I'm so glad that this turned out the way it did. It's razor sharp too. Razor sharp. Hmm. Hmm. Beautiful, ain't it? 1964, guys. Awesome. Well, guys, I hope y'all enjoyed the video today. And Josh, Tanner, thank y'all so much for all the gifts. Uh, I definitely have to get me a challenge coin display once I get over in my other knife shop. Uh, that over there, guys, is just going to mainly be a showcase room where I film. And uh, I'll, I'll do some sharpening over there. But I'm still going to keep my, uh, my tools in here. As far as uh, the drill press, the bandsaw, the grinder, because it just gets dust everywhere, and that's going to be more like a showroom filming area uh, over there. So uh, we're still going to be filming in here too, but uh, we're going to be filming a lot over there too. So, uh, I've got some great ideas coming up for my channel once I get over there. Okay, guys, I just want to remind y'all about the giveaway Monday, April 15th, 6 30 p.m. All the gifts you got to be present to win, guys. All the gifts you got to be present to win. Even if you left remarks over there on the part one, you got to be present to win. Okay, we're gonna go pick two random comments to win a 722 Spitfire and a 726 Mini Spitfire, both USA made, both coming straight from Buck, and you get to pick what color handles you want. But you gotta be present to win. Okay. You can't just leave a remark and comment. So all the gifts, I'm saying all the gifts, you got to be present to win Monday night, April 15th, 6.30 p.m. we got a bunch of stuff to give away. Again, I'm going to be picking two random comments. So if you haven't commented yet on part one and you got to leave the right comments, okay, I'm not going to tell you what they are. You got to go back and watch the video. Uh, but also, we got a lot more stuff to give away where we're going to be drawing numbers. So random numbers. I'm going to write a number down, put it under my hat, and when it's time to draw, I'm going to pull it out and show it to y'all. Just letting y'all know, you got to be present to win all the gifts, okay? Okay, guys, I just want to thank y'all for tuning in today again. Thank you, Josh and Tanner, for all those nice gifts. I love it, really do. And, uh... I love this too, guys. It turned out great. It turned out really good. Anyway, guys, thank y'all for tuning in today. I want to say God bless y'all. Until we meet again, guys, y'all be lucky. Good night.